Hello everyone, this is RaySpace and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where I've decided to do a thing. I was not satisfied with the size, capabilities or looks of Strata Launch, uh, which I previously tested, and I decided to make a model of a more novel design, uh, one with two Airbus A380s strapped together so that there could be a payload in the middle, and these are further apart than Strata Launch's bodies and they give better clearance to the ground than Strata Launch's bodies. And we now have eight engines instead of just six. Uh, so I, obviously this is a custom model made in Blender. Uh, the whole center section with the two bodies and the center wing is one piece. And that poses difficulties, just like Strata Launch. It, the Strata Launch was done the same way. The difficulty is that if you want a IVA view, one of these cockpit views like this, and it, you can sort of see that the windows don't really line up because I'm using one of the stock IVAs and then we can sort of see the windows of the model there. But anyway, if you want to have an IVA view, it has to be at the zero, zero point. And it has to be in a collider as far as I know. So it can't be floating over here or here uh, because it wouldn't be embedded in the collider. So this can't be the zero, zero point and, you know, it, it'd be looking like it, they were looking out from here. Uh, we want it to be in the right fuselage, which is where it is in Strata Launch and where I put it here. That means that the zero zero point is over here. And that's a complication for Strata Launch in this. I have to move the center of mass to its correct position, the center of lift to its correct position. And also, anytime you try to attach anything to this, the symmetry is wrong. If you try to attach something to this body here, it doesn't symmetrize to over here. It symmetrizes to over here because the zero zero point is over there. So. That's annoying. But anyway, we have it. And uh, I used rescaled uh, Strata Launch wings for the outboard, though I don't have textures unlimited on them. That's why they're not as shiny as the body. And I used procedural wings for the back stuff because, well, th the tails are probably not going to be looking like regular A380 tails, but I'll probably make the regular A380 wings and vertical stabilizer and horizontal stabilizer later. Uh, I do have a regular A380 body without the hump, uh, so yeah, maybe I'll offer people in a mod the A380 in its regular form. But this form is called Strata, uh, sorry, not Strata Launch, Exo Launch. So let's see how it works. Let's see how it flies now. All the talking. Here we go. So the engines, I did have Trent 900s, but they weren't working for some reason. So I've got these. GE Genix uh, 1B76s. Oh gosh, it's going off, of course. Um, it's a big plane. And they don't produce any sound, though. That's not my fault. I didn't make them. <laughs> so, uh, whatever reason they're not producing any sound, yeah, that's not me. Okay, we should be able to take off, hopefully. Hopefully. We don't have any payload. Now, without a payload, this is heavier than the maximum takeoff capacity of the AN-225 or Strata Launch. The AN-225 uh, maximum takeoff capacity is 625 tons. So that's with its payload. So we have no payload and we're taking off like this. But we do have 200,000 liters of kerosene. I really wish these engines would have sound though. Maybe I'll have to go back to using the ones that I had on Strata Launch. So it's it's a fair amount heavier than Strata Launch as far as its empty mass is. Uh, 477 tons. Strata Launch is only 265. The bodies of the A380 are big. And the wings are bigger, of course, but they're not that much bigger. Uh, the, they're, the wingspan is 22% longer. And the wing area then ends up being about 46% long, uh, not longer, but bigger, more wing area. And so that doesn't quite make up for the extra mass. So it's a question about what kind of payload capacity we can expect from this. But I was in particular looking for something that had at least nine meters of ground clearance. I wanted something with a tall body and the A380 has the tallest body available, 
And uh, as a bonus, it's got a fairly flat back as opposed to the 747, of course, but it is taller than the 747. On its own, without its payload, of course, it can go nice and fast and doesn't have too much problem. But we're going to do a payload test after this flight. I will maintain it looks better than Strata Launch. I hope you will agree. Okay, well, we're gonna have to slow down somehow. I did not put air brakes. <laughs> as, as usual, I did not put air brakes. This is the maximum roll that I'm giving it right now. We're also very heavy with the fuel, but we would be expecting to land with a payload at least this heavy, so... I sort of put a minimal amount of landing gear. Okay, brakes, steering... Steering... Well, cloud of dust that I don't really need. That, that dust effect is sort of overdoing it, isn't it? Okay, it was a sloppy landing, but... We landed. So, let's see how much it can carry. So here we have a payload that is 9 meters in diameter, 70 meters long, and 300 tons in mass. So that's an interesting thing, isn't it? And I'm debating whether to put, actually put a nose cone on it or have it be a blunt object. Uh, but okay, let's try and put a nose cone on. Okay, we've got an aerodynamic nose cone on it. And that nose cone is... well, we don't need the app gas in that. Six tons, so 306 tons. Well, I mean, that's not that much extra payload capacity than Strata Launch, right? I mean, we're looking for a little bit more, but there is a downside to using the heavy A380 bodies and the really high dry mass that we have by default. So we have to keep that in mind. How about with the nose cone, we go for 340 tons. This is about... 339. Let's try that first. Okay, here we go. Might be that I should have the center of mass for back though. That might help. The center of mass might be a little bit too far forward with the placement. Of course, the purpose of placing it like this was to avoid having it scrape off as we rotate. Are we free of the ground, or not? It doesn't look like it. This part is... ...deceptive here. Well, okay, we can go up. We're, we're going up now. We're definitely going up. But it's not really within the confines of the runway, and it's really fast. So, let me just check the center of mass and center of lift in the... In the SPH, I think maybe we can move it back a little bit. It didn't seem like it was at risk of scraping. I mean, it's not that off, but... Well, that's a little bit dodgy, potentially. We'll see. Let's see if that's any better. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's, there's a tail scrape potential here. There's a reason why the tails are curved up like that, so... Try and be gentle with it. Could do with more landing gear potentially to just keep it going straight a bit. No, I don't feel like there was too much benefit. Well, we can go up. It's just... Uh, we can't go up at a decent speed. Those will have to be very, very, very nice tires. Okay, okay, go up still. I'm gonna have atmospheric off pod. Actually, atmospheric off pod makes it hard sometimes. I'll just keep that off. Nearly a thousand tons altogether. Yeah, I might have to think about replacing the engines. I don't know why it's showing two different kerosenes either.
Maybe that has something to do with why it's not generating any sound. But yeah, uh, going 150 meters per second, or more than 300 miles an hour, it can carry this load. Not the ideal arrangement. But maybe I should have a thicker wing or something. I could try and uh, make the bodies lighter. I could, I could just write in whatever mass I feel like, of course. Uh, but, you know, I don't actually know how heavy the body of an A380 is when you strip out everything inside. So, I do not know that. I made a best guess. But now the question is, can I land a 960 ton plane with that payload in the center? Oh dear. Of course, it'd be better to do that without the extra fuel. We've gotten to about 10,000 feet. So this won't be released yet. I'll wait until I can release the regular A380 parts, including the regular A380 wings and all that business. This is what I wanted it for, though. I didn't really want the regular A380. That was just a byproduct of making this. And next up is the Beluga XL. Which I think will be quite useful for those who might want to roleplay things. Well, actually, we were below the stall speed of this. The stall speed of the one without the payload was like 100 meters per second. Which I think is a bit much too, but uh, we have to keep in mind that with FAR the aerodynamics at low speeds is a bit weird and things have to go faster in order to take off and have higher stall speeds and everything, so that's just a general thing across the board. So as far as the takeoff speed of this goes the, I, yeah, I, I don't know if that would be the takeoff speed of it in real life. I think it, its real life one is very likely much lower than that. If they were to make something like this in real life, of course. Which they won't. <laughs> Which they won't. But, you know. But perhaps the clever among you will be able to figure out exactly what I'm thinking of using this for really trying to take this in properly here. Not a whole lot of pitch authority left, is there? Okay... Okay... Touchdown at 130 meters per second. Ah... Uh... <laughs> Always of these things. I need more runway. Okay, well, just a little bit more runway. We can work on the landing so we get a bigger runway. All right, so there you have it. Exo launch, as I call it. Uh, 333 tons right now, but uh, maybe. Oh, I don't know. I think I would have to carry less fuel. We could easily carry 100 thousand uh, kilograms less or 100 tons less uh, or instead of carrying less fuel lighten up the bodies a bit again empty mass of this is 477 tons so it's pretty darn heavy so anyway with that thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you next time